God says, when you're sick, I can heal you. When you lack, I can provide. It, I don't read it. He says, there, my beautiful ashes. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, 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 a swapping transaction the whole time with God. The whole time I can give him my sorrow and he'll give me joy. I can give him my, my, my sadness and he'll give me peace. The whole time I can swap with him for my bad for his good. It depends on if you're going to unlock that door in your life. I can. Because you know what? The good news of the Bible of Jesus, that Jesus Christ came for is he wants to. It's not because you are good. You've been a good boy or a good girl and you paid your tithes and you, you prayed 10 times this week and you read your Bible every morning. It's not about that. You cannot earn God's goodness. It doesn't matter what you do, what you try. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, the best works of a man is for God as reject, uh, rejectful as a filthy rag. So whatever you try to think you can do, and you can please God, and you can earn his, your righteousness, and you can earn His forgiveness, and you can earn his blessing, you can't. Because that's why he calls it grace. Because it's freely given. Not earning. You can't earn it. You haven't been a good boy or a good girl. And then you earn. No, it's just because he loves you. It's just because he loves you that he wants to. You see, we, we, we try to put the fleshly things into the spirit. You know, I had, to, I had to mow the lawn before I can get some pocket money. I had to be a good boy. I had to get good marks in school before my dad would buy me a bicycle. Now we want to come to the Lord with that same idea, the fleshly. And he says it does not work. There's nothing you can do to earn anything from. You can't earn good marks. You can't earn more points. You can't let him love you more. He can't. Do you know that? God can't love you more. He can't, he doesn't even love you more just because you got saved. He, he loved you the most that he could ever love any man. The day that his son died, even if you didn't know him or you didn't belong to him, he loved you with an everlasting love then. There's nothing you can do to be good boy or good girl to earn. And let him then, I can. He says, I can because he wants to. Child of God, don't you want to come this morning and say, Lord, I want to put aside all of my emotions, all of my, the way I think you should operate. Because that's another problem we do. We think God should operate in this way. He, you can't put him in your little box. You can't, you can't try to imagine how is he going to do it? How is he going to provide? How is he going to sort out your life? How is he going to raise Lazarus? I don't think Mary Magdalene ever thought that Jesus will raise Lazarus. That was not even a thought in her mind. That didn't even arise because why? It's dead. He's stinking. He's finished. In your and my mind and our books, if man is in the ground, he's in the ground. He's gone forever. Jesus said, no, open the grave. Let him come out. What? He stinks. Open the grave. It's not too late for me. My God can, wants to, and is willing and is able to do much above whatever you can ever dream or imagine. That's my God. It's only for you to decide. Listen to me. You need to make a decision to take it, to make a choice. Is do you going to put all of your faith in him or not? And if you decide not to, don't blame him. If he doesn't appear, if he doesn't answer your prayer, if he doesn't come through, don't blame him, please. Because he says in Revelations, I stand at your door 
and I knock. If you open, I'll come and have supper with you. It's your choice. My Father and His Holy Spirit will never force Himself on you. He's waiting for you to invite Him. He's waiting for you to open the door. You, he's waiting for you to put your trust in Him. I want you to close your eyes for a moment. And I want you to allow the Holy Spirit this morning to do what He wants in your life. Is Jesus all that you really need? Or do you have continuous plans? Do you have continuous back doors of your life? Which through you can slip? Or do you really want to be sold out to Jesus? Do you really want to have Him to say, I can? Because he can. He's just waiting for you. You know what? The world didn't make my God powerless. It's the church that makes him powerless. Because the church doesn't believe him. The church doesn't trust him. The church doesn't think he can. The church doesn't think he's alive. The church doesn't think anything of him anymore. While he's standing there and he says, I'm standing at the door and I knock. Just open for me. All you have to do is just open the door. Do you really need Him? Do you really, really need my Jesus? Because let me tell you, I can assure you that my Jesus, the one I serve, is alive and He's well. He's powerful. He will provide. He will give you the breakthroughs. He will calm the storms. He will heal. He will deliver. He will set free. He still does it. My Jesus still does it. He delivers. He sets people free. I can give you the assurance. I mean, we, I've got many testimonies that I can give you to testify of the goodness of my Lord Jesus and His abilities. Do you believe Him? Do you believe believe him is the question this morning do you really believe that he can and I don't care from what background you come in I don't care it doesn't matter it doesn't matter to you you can be poor you can be rich you can be uh, highly educated you can be have no, no, no education it does not matter because he's not the respecter of man it all depends on you as an individual to stand before him today and say, Lord, I'm making a choice this morning to put all my trust in you. And listen to me, when I say put all my trust in him, it's not the first time or the first moment that it doesn't look or that it looks it doesn't going to work to, to, to alter your ways again. No, you have to push through and wait on him to provide and to trust him that he will come through. Don't make alternative arrangements. Don't have the back door open. You have to allow him to do what he said he will do. Even if it's not in your time frame or according to your plan or according to your what you think he should do. Is there someone this morning that wants to say, Lord, I am willing to put all my trust in you because I know you can. Then I want you to stand up right where you are. Just as a declaration to say, Lord, I'm declaring this morning in public that I trust you. That I know you can. And I'm willing to lay myself down to know that you can. Thank you, Jesus. Father, as we stand before you this morning, we declare, first of all, you are 
God. Secondly, we want to declare that there is no power greater than the power of my God, of our God. And Lord, number three, we want to repent of our ways, of our unbelief, of walking by sight, walking by the flesh, not allowing the word of God to create faith within us. Not allowing the word of God and the Holy Spirit to let the faith grow in us from a mustard seed to this massive tree that produces seeds. Father, we stand before you this morning. We repent of our unbelief and our unfaithfulness towards your word. Disobedience towards your word. Because your word says trust and we decide not. Your word says obey and we decide not to. Please forgive us our ignorance. Forgive us the times that we thought we knew better. But this morning, Lord, we stand before you because we declare that there is no God like our God. And we want to unlock that room in our hearts, in our lives, Lord Jesus, of faith. That will allow you to be the I can. I can. I can. Lord, this morning we want to unlock that room and say, Lord, please develop that room in our hearts, in our lives. To really, really, really start trusting you. To really believe you. What you said will is true. And that you can never lie. That you are faithful and just to supply in all our needs. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will not supply today in our physical, but more in the spiritual. That you will raise up our, our faith. That you will raise up in, inside of us, Lord, that, there's, uh, that we will become the warriors of the Lord Jesus Christ by faith standing like never before no wind can push us off course no tribulation can keep, can get us down no lord but we will stand we because we stand built on the rock the foundation jesus christ of nazareth lord let our faith in you stand so strong like a concrete building and that nothing will move us. I pray, Lord Jesus, where we battle with things, that the Holy Spirit will be there to assist us. When we lose our hope, our faith, let the Holy Spirit be there to comfort and guide us. To remind us that you can. All we have to do is surrender and allow you to be the I can. Father, each one who's standing this morning stands with something different in their hearts, different in their minds. I pray that you will provide and that you will come through as the I can in that specific area of their lives. You know what they're standing for. You know how they surrender, what they surrender. Lord, I pray this morning, let the Holy Spirit, let the Holy Spirit come this morning. Touch every life. Change mindsets. Change our faith. The way we believe in you to what you are requiring us to believe. Not the way we want to believe as men, but the way you are asking of us as God to trust and believe in you. Lord, give us the faith like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to absolutely trust you doesn't matter what the consequences or the, the circumstances but let us trust you because you are in charge of our lives we bless you we honor you we give you all the glory all the honor 
And we accept this morning the fact that we cannot earn anything, but that we receive all by faith and by grace. Thank you for your kindness, Lord. Thank you for your mercy that's new every morning. We want to bless you. We want to honor you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for the truth of your spirit. Thank you for the truth of your word. Let this world, this word be multiplied within us to bear much fruit so that the world out there, our friends, our family, even church members, that they can see God's hand in action. Because we choose this morning to really believe in and trust in you. In Jesus' name. Lord, here's our, ha our hands. We place them in your hands. We declare, without you, we can't. Without you, we are nothing. And if you're not going to do it, we can't. It's not in the ability of mankind to do anything for himself. But we trust you and we believe you. In the wonderful name of Jesus, we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.